Hello, people of the internet. I am Nick, aka the Obese Net Decker. It's my new nickname. It's, it's probably not going to catch on. Just deal with it. <laughs> and I am here with King Pengu here, and he's going to show you a Cyframe deck profile. And this is the deck he's going to be playing at this weekend's Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, and the one that we plan to win. So, go yep. for it. And I'm going to be playing this at uh, Regionals, too. So, I mean, that's going to be pretty cool. But I, this time, I have a side deck, because I threw that together. Uh, by the way, this deck is not cheap. Throwing that out there. So we've got three Valor Yusahi. Uh, this is Siphon Gear Gamma. This negates some monster effects. I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go over with the H2 bit by each card. Okay. So basically, what most of the gears read um, is you can chain this card from your hand, uh, and then you get some of this in a driver from your. You get some of this from your hand, and then a driver from anywhere. Driver hits field first. That's important. Remember that. And then you get to negate something. Gamma here negates monster effects. Then yes, that's here. an important thing to know is that when you summon a cyframe, it is not one individual summon, it is two separate things. So your traps like bottomless and torrential mistiming. And then next gear is three delta. This negates spells. A aka mana match winner. <laughs> then we have three beta. This is a battle fader and it destroys the monster that's attacking. It's great. And then the I went out the bunch alpha. It, you don't get to negate anything, but when you put a normal spell summons a monster, summon this, search card. Any second card. It's great. The card would be probably banned if it negated a monster summon. If it negated a monster summon, this deck would be infinitely better. Three of the card that you have to play that you don't want to, but do anyway. Hashtag when multi card comes out. No, you're still gonna run through driver. Oh. Like you can run one multi thunder, but you need the two out driver from deck. Three card consistency. Two card of lesser consistency. Spells. Three circuit. Uh what this says is when you're when you switch summon the sacred monster, you can stick or summon. And when you attack one of your opponent's monsters, you can ditch a cypher monster from your hand, gain that much attack. Um, so it's your honest, it lets you synchro summon during your opponent's turn. Let's make the strategy work. Three psychic feel zone. I love this card to death. You get to synchro summon from your banished zone, so it's a one card synchro. It's broken. You can take out one of these for a third card card if you want to, but I like that card at, at three. Then we have three power duality, I mean power consistency. Two psychic get the drivers back from banished zone. Three overload. This card banishes your any card on field face down at the cost of banishing one of your sacred monsters from hand or field. It's broken. And you when it's engraved, you can banish it during your player's turn and search a cyphering card. Just a quick little ruling here. Omega can target a face down banish card and put it back in the graveyard during standby phase. Mm -hmm. Not saying you should do it, but you can. But what you what you when you start banishing this to search and you have an omega on board, just keep returning this to graveyard unless you need a driver in grave because you can keep searching every turn and it gets unbelievable advantage. And your opponent will probably scoop next turn. Yep, and then three of the second most expensive card in the deck, drowning mirror force. Um, play three of it. It's pretty good. This is, this is a win condition against a lot of things. And then three um, monarchs. Go ahead, try. I mean, rivalry of warlords. Don't get him unless hit demise instead. That was Facebook. That was someone's Facebook. That was my Facebook. Uh, then my computer made the noise and my phone vibrated. Uh, we have tokens. Because I like tokens. No, don't, don't use tokens. You don't need them. You could, though. There's no card in the stack that makes tokens. True, but monarchs can make tokens. Okay, then we have one, one minor one arch beam. One card in my deck makes tokens. It's called a Mithra. Uh, basically, what this thing does is when you, see, when you use Fuel Zone to make this, um, you can what do the thing? you can banish psychic you take it from your graveyard and when this card is sent to the grave you get to summon all the ones that you banished. This card's blow out, it can make so many like just bring back so many cards, it can bring back synchros from grave. What level is that nine? Yeah, so you make it off field zone with either a level two in Zeta or a level one in Omega. Or life transfer if you have a life transfer, life transfer banished. Um and then you proceed to make incredible plays with that and with hyperpsych blaster. If you need to go piercing for game, go ahead and then you gain life points. Two Omega. Um, this looks like a card in the deck. You need two of it. Three is not recommended. You can play three, but you're never gonna make three unless you opened up Uber Nuts. In that case, you're gonna win the game anyway. 
Um, you never need a third Omega. It's, it's seriously a waste of money if you buy, play through Omega. We played through Zeta, but that's because you make Zeta super speed. And Zeta is different from Omega, but anywhere you put Omega, you can get it back. So you only run two. Uh, one DT Thought Ruler. It's right. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. I have to see it rare, but it's DT. Come on. One Hot Red Dragon. You can switch it out for a Scarlet if you want to inflict life point damage. Now for the level 7s. You, you should play Scarlet. This deck goes into time too much. Yeah, true. Uh, this is the deck that wins in time, but goes into time a lot, because you can gain life points pretty easily. 3 Zeta. 1 life transfer. The card that wins you time. Yazi. That dragon. 2 Black Roses. Um, I kind I, I kind of actually want to take this out for a second Black Rose Dragon because this is this card's broken against anything because you can make it during your opponent's turn. I mean this card's good too, but I'm a, if I had a Crystal Wing, I'd take this out for a Crystal Wing. And then one Meteor Burst because Cosmo or thing. You like that card? Card's good. Side deck time. Three Comungus. I can't afford turtles oddly enough. And we know people with turtles who don't want to get rid of them. Yeah, I even though it's getting reprinted, I I my thought was, hey, let's finish the main and the extra. So, no no time for turtle. Three MST because you can't play Twin Twister. You can, it's just not recommended. Yeah, uh, then two Fairy Wind because that card's fun. Blow up Everything. Shadow Mirror. Um, this card's really cool. Just darks are a thing. So shut them down. Two Dark Ride. <laughs> this is for fun. Until I get like mask restricts and anti spells, I'm playing Dark Ride. One Iron Wall. I plan on taking out um, this tra this Nightmare and an MST for a second and third, and then one Psalm Morning because it's Psalm Morning. That and I think that's it pretty much. Yeah, that's Sock Yep. Thank you very much, Pango, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Yep.